This month's attacks have succeeded in deeply destabilizing and embarrassing the government in Abuja. What we request is maximum cooperation. A cult-like leader, Abubakar Shakao, who demands that his followers surrender their possessions. In every nation, in every region, now has the decision to help. Let's hold it right there. Is this guy for real? A veiled threat like that from some small guy? There's something more in here. In every region, in every region, now has the decision to make. They have adopted tactics so brutal that even Al-Qaeda has distanced itself. They have ignited outrage around the world. Boko Haram is in, uh, ex they, are ex they are extremists and they don't really understand Islam because Islam says that it is your duty to get education. So they cannot deny this fact. Just like the Nigerian schoolgirls, Malala Yousafzai was targeted by militants opposed to female education. She survived being shot in the head by the Pakistani Taliban and says she feels it is her responsibility to speak out. When I heard about the Nigerian girls that they are being abducted, I felt that my sisters were in prison and I think that we should not remain silent. And this is my feeling that if we remain silent, then this will, this will spread. This will happen more and more and more. This is an act of pure evil. It's united people across the planet to stand with Nigeria to help find these children and return them to their parents. The British are sending a small specialist team to Nigeria to join similar efforts by the US and France. A potential US presidential candidate has weighed in. Hillary Clinton says the kidnapping is, is an act of terrorism. Concern. And America's first lady has taken to Twitter to call for the girl's return. Boko Haram's violence has overshadowed Nigeria's hosting of the World Economic Forum in the capital, Abuja. It's yet to be seen whether the attacks will be enough to dissuade international investors keen to sell goods and services to 170 million Nigerians. It's yet to be seen whether the attacks will be enough to dissuade international investors keen to sell goods and services to 170 million Nigerians.